we have water flowing through a sudden expansion. The inlet diameter is 0 0.4 meters. The outlet diameter is 0 0.6 meters. The inlet pressure, P1, is 70 kPa, and at the pressure at 2, P2, is unknown. Assume the kinetic energy correction factors are 1. The goal is to find the horizontal force and the head loss in the sudden expansion. Engineers design the supports to hold piping systems flow through components such as a sudden expansion or this pipe bend cause extra loads and engineers use equations to predict these extra loads. Since the goal is force, recognize that this is a linear momentum problem. Since the head loss and pressure at 2 are unknown, recognize that the energy equation is useful. Start with the momentum equation. Draw a force diagram, equate this to a momentum diagram. On the force diagram, both pressure forces here and here are compressive. This force is the force of the support acting on the matter inside the control volume and this is the weight of the matter inside the control volume. The rate of momentum outflow, rate of momentum inflow. Now write the equations in the horizontal direction. So here's the force terms. Momentum outflow minus momentum inflow. Term by term analysis. Here's the goal. The pressure at 2 is unknown. And the two velocity terms are unknown. Mass flow rate is simply density times the volume flow rate. So this really we should consider as a known term. Select the pressure at 2 as the new goal and write the energy equation. After term by term analysis, here's the reduced equation. The goal's right here, the pressure at 2, and we don't know the head loss right here. And similarly, we need the two velocities. To find velocity at 1 and velocity at 2, apply the flow rate equation twice, as shown here. To find the head loss, apply the equation for a sudden expansion written down here. The problem is cracked. There are five unknowns shown right here and there's one, two, three, four, five equations and here's the plan for reaching the goal. The velocities are V1 is equal to 7.96 meters per second. V2 is 3.54 meters per second. The head loss is 0 0.996 meters. Do algebra on the energy equation. Then calculate that the pressure at 2 is 85.6 kPa gauge. Lastly, apply the momentum equation to calculate the force. And this is 11 kilonewtons. This means that the support must push on this sudden expansion with a force of about 2,500 pounds force. Thus, we might put a support block right here like this, and we could put another support block like this. This, of course, would be connected to the floor. And this would, this support block would push on the sudden expansion with this load. And of course, the sudden expansion would push back on the support block like that by Newton's third law. Some more review comments. When force is a goal or parameter, then we select the momentum equation. When head loss and pressure are involved, we can select the energy equation. It's useful to remember the formula for head loss for sudden expansion. Here's the formula. Engineers like to get the right answers. Three things that help. Keeping everything very organized. Double checking every single calculation and step along the solution process. And using the grid method to carry and cancel units.
I hope you enjoyed this solution. Thank you very much for listening.